Lee Enox writes, in full disclosure, I think where you need to strengthen your argument is dealing with what appears to be a self-contradiction where you are arguing for the dissolution of government by using the very means of government to dissolve it. Uh, what's the contradiction there? Uh, you know, if, if I have something wrong with my body, if I'm sick, I'm going to use my body to fix it. Um, I, you know, if you say if, if, if it's the disease itself, government is the disease, if that's the position you're taking, Lee, I couldn't agree with you more. And in that case, we're not using the disease to remove itself. We're using the American people through the presidential process to, it's not using them, it's, it's empowering them by giving them the real option of having no federal government at all to withdraw their consent from the federal government to say it shouldn't exist at all, we're not going to allow it to continue to exist. And we're not using the means of government to dissolve it at all. And again, it's, it's, it's really funny to see in, in the uh, libertarian community, and, and Lee is, is not really a, a libertarian. I know this from my other conversations with him. He's, he's a constitutionalist and, and a nationalist. And if you believe in the U.S. Constitution, which authorizes taxation, which is theft, which authorizes the military, which is anti-freedom and against the founder's vision of, of a militia-based defense for free people, um, you know, then, then you're not a libertarian. You're not, you're not someone who believes in a universal standard of ethics. And, and if you don't believe in universal ethics, then you don't really believe in ethics, because if they have exceptions, they're not really rules. But no, um, there is no government office of the custodian of the federal government. That's what we're creating. That's not um, a means of government to dissolve it. No, absolutely not. Also, I think Spencer made a good point about the self-defense issue in your position. This is uh, Richard Spencer in the debate that we had several weeks ago. An advanced army would appear to completely annihilate a home defense type militia, especially in our era of nuclear proliferation and technological sophistication. Well, Lee, you seem to not know what a militia is or how it works. Haven't you seen the Mel Gibson movie, The Patriot? No, with the militia, you don't, you know, march, uh, you dress up a bunch of, uh, of people in, in silly costumes and have them meet in the middle of the field to shoot each other because they're wearing different colors. No, see, that's, that's not how the militia defense works. It's much smarter than that. You don't give them anything to nuke. You don't give them anything to attack. They come through and you shoot them in the back. That's how the militia defense works. And it's so much more effective and so much more efficient. And it's also a better deterrent to have such a better defense than a military. But you know what, if, 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 if you know, the, these arguments have been raised by people who identify as libertarians as well. And, and I, I don't think, you know, if you call yourself a libertarian, that doesn't make you a libertarian. You have to actually meet the definition of libertarian. And even if you want to take the most broad definition possible, someone who believes in freedom. Well, what is freedom? Freedom is what you have when no one is forcing their will on you. So if you say that you're a libertarian and yet advocate for people forcing their will on others, you're a lino. Libertarian in name only. And it's really mostly from that crowd that we hear these kinds of silly arguments against the proposition of dissolving the federal government entirely. Fun Bobby 51 on Steam it asks, but can you achieve localization from the top down or is it something that must be achieved from the ground up? Now, this idea of top down versus bottom up is uh, a, a very commonly thrown out uh, dichotomy that applies when you have only a top-down power structure. Because if you don't have a top-down power structure to begin with, you can't have power that goes from the bottom up because there's nowhere for it to go. So can you have a, a, a bottom-up solution to the problem of top-down power? Well, that's essentially what this campaign is. If you want to call it that, it's bottom-up because we are changing the paradigm. We are changing how the American people on an individual basis view government and the false necessity of government. So when so, sometimes people say, Adam, you're, this, this has to be bottom-up, not top-down, and what you're proposing is a top-down solution. No, what I'm proposing is getting rid of the top entirely. So no, bottom up versus top down, 
only applies when you've accepted the premise that you need a violent hierarchy of government in the first place. But if you want to look at it through this lens, this campaign to dissolve the federal government entirely, to localize government down to the community and individual level, is a decentralized approach. If you want to call it bottom up, as in the grassroots, the individuals, the communities, the individual American voters, the forces from the ground up rise to cut off the top, to decapitate the snake entirely. Okay, fine. But it, you see how it's really kind of a, a silly analysis. Is it top down or bottom up? Doesn't matter. Power should be decentralized all the way up or down to the individual. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at and we'll share it on my feed.